Hi guys, Lex Albrecht here in Montreal. This is normal for me, this is home. But today I will be doing a cycling workout that is anything but normal. The reason that I'm doing this is because in 12 days, that doesn't leave a lot of time to make any huge gains. I will be doing race across America. It's something like I've never done in my entire life before, crossing the entire country, United States of America, and that's covering 6,800 kilometers. I did something that I also feel is a little bit crazy. I just changed coaches. I use Training Peaks Coach Matching Services on their website. All you got to do is fill out the intake form. You tell them about who you are, what your cycling experience is, what your ambitions are. And they will hand pick a coach that has the experience, personality and credentials that is a perfect fit for you. I'm really convinced that the coach that Training Peaks matched me up with, Joy McCullough, has given me some really good tips that are going to help me get an extra edge in the little time that I have left. If you haven't heard of Race Across America before, its nickname is the world's toughest bike race. It starts in Oceanside, California and crosses the United States of America diagonally and finishes in the Northeast in Annapolis, Maryland. And we are a team of eight riders. Our strategy for the race, our goal is to finish in six and a half days. I'll let you guys do the math. That's 6,800 kilometers in six and a half days. Our strategy is to try to stay as fresh as we can and go as fast as we can. We're going to do so by splitting off into four pairs. Each pair will ride for a shift of six hours. During that shift, one rider will be on the road for 20 minutes, while the other rider will be recovering in a follow vehicle for the other 20 minutes. 20 minutes of rest might sound nice, but I'm actually a little bit concerned about how my legs are going to feel, especially if I'm pushing a lot of watts during my time on the road. It's not really normal for me to go hard and rest and go hard and rest, especially over such a long period of time. Six hours and repeating that for six or maybe seven days. We'll see how it goes. To prepare for this, Joy helped me come up with a workout plan. I took notes. Joy taught me that to create an excellent training plan, figure out and understand what the demands of competition are. This can be physical or technical. So the first thing that my Race Across America experience is going to demand of me is to be able to ride for six hours, 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. That's not normal for me, especially day after day. Another demand that I'm going to have to fulfill is being able to comfortably and efficiently ride at night. I've spun a little bit on my bike in the dark, but not that much. It's definitely not something that I'm used to doing. Joy taught me that riding at night causes a sense of sensory deprivation. So my senses are not going to be working in a way that they're very used to. And it would be to my advantage if I get used to this before the race starts. Another thing that I will need to practice is riding with lights. If I get comfortable with seeing the way things are lit up when I have a bike light on my helmet and on my bike, I won't have to deal with any anxiety that is pretty much energy sapping. No energy sapping. I want all my energy to go in all the right places. My strategy that I came up with with Joy is today, I am going to go out at 7 p.m. This is when my shift with my Race Across America partner will usually start during the race. And I will ride all the way until one o'clock in the morning. That's when our shift will end. 20 minutes on and 20 minutes off. I'm gonna see how I feel riding for that long, riding in those intervals, riding in the light, riding in the dark. And I'm also going to experiment a little bit with my nutrition. So I'll keep you guys updated and I'm also going to speak with Joy once this is all said and done and I will share any feedback that Joy may have for me that might help you in any of the cycling challenges that you have planned or that you want to create as well. Well, let's see how this goes.